Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. The surface conditions this morning are basically rather pleasant. High pressure is sitting off of the North Carolina coast and as a result we are having some southwesterly winds which will lead to slightly warmer conditions for today. Temperatures will reach into the upper 30s to possibly even some lower 40s uh, especially over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. However, do not get used to this because the cold air is on the way. This weekend we had 40s and 50s. Today we have lower 40s and 30s. Uh, the rest of the week, 20s and 30s. A powerful cold front that is currently sitting over the Great Lakes will race towards the East Coast tonight. Now I don't expect much in the way of precipitation because this is generally a dry cold front. However, I can't rule out a few scattered snow showers as the front passes through late tonight. As a result of this cold front moving through, temperatures will crash into the 20s by tomorrow morning and will not rebound all that much for tomorrow with highs in the mid-30s even along the coast. Thereafter, for the rest of the week, generally quiet conditions can be expected with a few scattered snow showers here and there as disturbances pass by. But Friday night through Sunday looks to be rather interesting, and let me show you why. This is the European 500 millibar forecast for Friday night. Now, the European model again is one of the better models in the medium range. We're using it in this case. However, let's look at this as a general overview of the entire 500 millibar pattern. All models agree that we have a rather impressive block over northern Canada, and that forces our polar vortex that big oval that's over the eastern Great Lakes down to the south. Now notice how this polar vortex is kind of stretched out kind of like a taffy. What's happening is that we're starting to see a split in the upper level low uh, over the uh, eastern Great Lakes with a portion moving towards the mid-Atlantic coast and another portion towards the uh, Great Lakes. This is an important development and when we zoom in on this uh, upper level low we can see that there is some very strong lifting along the mid-Atlantic coast as a new upper level low starts to develop. Now this type of development is not handled very well by the models um, and usually what happens is that you get a clipper that is redeveloping off the New Jersey coast and one of two things happens. One, the clipper explodes off the New Jersey coast producing a moderate to heavy snowfall along the immediate coast where forecast the day before, maybe one or two inches, becomes more like four to eight or higher. The other possibility is that this transition is much slower, and as a result, you only get some light snow and some snow flurries along the immediate coast, and then basically the storm explodes over eastern New England. Both solutions are possible, and we need to keep an eye on this development, because when this type of uh, upper-level feature starts to develop, uh, certain mesoscale features like uh, coastal fronts and uh, inverted troughs can become enhanced and when that happens it usually creates a huge wild card on exactly how uh, the developments will unfold with this new low pressure system. So we move forward into Saturday night we can see that we clearly have a split in this uh, polar vortex with uh, one upper level low that is sitting over the Atlantic with our new low pressure system and the other portion sitting over the eastern Great Lakes. So this process clearly shows that we're going to have a split in this powerful upper level low on, that will be in place on Thursday and then by Saturday night we have two upper level lows uh, one with a strengthening coastal storm and another over the uh, eastern Great Lakes. So in order to get to point A to point B we have to undergo strong cyclogenesis along the coast which usually means the potential for snow so we're going to, have to keep an eye on that regardless of whether this storm explodes or not one thing I can be sure of is that we are moving into a very cold pattern and uh, this weekend is going to be far colder than what we saw last weekend where temperatures for highs on uh, Saturday and Sunday going all the way into Tuesday will struggle to break freezing Whereas last weekend we were close to 50 degrees. So do not be surprised to see highs only around 30 for Saturday and Sunday as a result of this new Arctic air mass. Thank you for visiting NYNJPA Weather. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. 
Have an excellent day.